I'm a huge fan of the entire series, and I have to say that this is definitely better than part three, and maybe part two in some cases. Now, I'm a huge fan of Nev Campbell as Sydney Prescott. She's the greatest lead actress in a horror film, best horror scream queen. I love this character in every film, and this one's no exception. Um, she's the best female horror icon, for sure. Now, the reason I like her is that her morals and her strength and stamina are all a rare trait in the horror genre. Most female leads don't have the punch of Sydney Prescott. She is just the best. Maybe on par with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis in Halloween, but Halloween, uh, one of the Halloween movies knocked her out, which I didn't think was right. But anyway, so let's not talk about that one. On to the movie. The opening sequence was bang on awesome, but I don't know, kind of weird and, and kind of hokey. I mean, for people who aren't a fan of this, they might have been like, you know, what the F is going on there? <laughs> but it was a cool, cool scene. Um, great cameos, really great cameos. I'm surprised they got all those people to join in, which was great. And it was an interesting uh, jab from Wes Craven about other horror movies that was in the movie quite a bit. A great standout also is the great killer reveal at the end, which I won't say anything spoilerish until the end. So if you don't want to hear any spoilers, don't listen to the end until to the end of this video. But uh, it was unexpected the killer reveal. Well, at least for one of them, the other one kind of expected in a way. Yes, I'm revealing there's two killers, but they've had two killers more than once already, so you're not totally surprised at all. That's the only thing I'm revealing right now. <laughs> two killers. What else? I'm trying to figure out. It's probably boring to people watching this. Um, this is my first video, so don't trash me, okay? Um. Well, the Scream movies, the movies are known for being very self-aware and ahead of their time, which this one also is. Um, it kept up with today's culture, but not in a like a cool, trying to be cool sort of way. It just sort of used Facebook and things like that, and the online phenomena and cell phones and iPhones and all that was part of the film, which was good. Kept things new and fresh. Um, and what we've come to love and enjoy about this series hasn't really gone away. The main three main leads are still there and kicking, and uh, love seeing them again. They were all great as usual, and uh, the new players in the cast some were better than others. I liked Hayden. And that's here, is that how you say her last name? Adam Brody was good. Would like to see more of him. Um, Emma Roberts was outstanding in her role. I'll talk about her more later with spoilers. Um, Anna Paquin and Kristen Bell. Definitely, I definitely recommend this movie to any horror fans. I am a huge horror fan. And um, just Anyone who's into this kind of thing will definitely appreciate what they do with it, for sure. Now, okay, now I'm going to get to the spoiler stuff, so if you don't want to see that, walk away now. <laughs> Give me a minute. Okay. The ending, I did not expect Jill, which is Emma Roberts, to be the killer. I did not expect that. That was awesome. Um, she did it well, she acted it well, um, so when she was, like, 
killing her, well, pretending to kill herself or give herself wounds. It was a bit, people were laughing in the audience, so they should have cut that down a little, I think, maybe. Um, also, one gripe about the movie is the character development is an issue here. With the new characters, I mean, yeah, you kill most of them off, but, like, make us, make us sort of like them, make us interested in what, you know, happens to them. So, except for Hayden Panettiere, or whatever, Kirby, that's her name in the movie, Kirby was uh, a good horror fan, and a lot of horror fans that probably, like me, that watching it would probably love her, so I did like that character a lot, and um, the new cop was a bit annoying, and they let her live, which I thought she should have died, but it was kind of funny the way she came back alive, but, you know. And I was on the edge of my seat when Sydney was hurt and when Sydney was in the hospital. I was very afraid that she was going to get killed. And as a woman and as a Sydney fan, I was like, well, in part three and this one, I've been nervous that she would get it. Because Nev Campbell herself was hesitant about doing a lot of the movies, so I thought, oh, maybe they'll just kill her off one day because, you know, they could bring new people in or something, but she's really the point of the movie. She's her beating the killer and her and her friends, you know, Dewey and Gail being there and, and what they go through is what makes the whole series good in my opinion anyways, and uh, Sydney is, as I said, one of the greatest characters in horror. Um, I also really liked how they did little nods to the original movie and to the sequels before it. Like, there's a scene with a garage door, it's not exactly the same, but you know what I mean, like, it's cool to see some little nods to the past, and um, that guy who got his uh, <laughs> pepper shot off, <laughs> that was crazy. But that character should have been better developed, because in a way it's like, who cares that that happened? Like, everyone laughed and they weren't feeling, well, I don't know how many people felt bad for him, they didn't really know the character. They should have explained more, like Jill was saying, that he was cheating on her with someone and they kind of, you know, they didn't really go deep into that and they could have really made that better and more established that. And what else? The aunt character, Sydney's aunt, I think they should have kept her alive if they planned to do part five because they could go back into the past of their family and about Sydney's mother, and maybe the aunt has something going on, you know, they could have done something with her more than that, like, I don't know what they're going to do with the next one, I don't really, I mean, I can't wait to see what they do with the next one, of course, as a fan, but it's hard to think what they'll do with it after killing so many new characters off, obviously they can bring more new characters in again. But, you know, I really think they killed too many people off with the new cast. They could have kept Hayden Pinnett, whatever her last name is. <laughs> they could have kept her alive. Maybe they did, but they didn't really show her uh, recovering from her wounds or anything. Um, yeah, it's a great movie. It's a good slasher. It's on par with part two and better than three, for sure. And I also really liked how they made fun of the fact that every single older movie is getting redone. Like Nightmare on Elm Street shouldn't have been redone. And, you know, Friday the 13th shouldn't have been redone. You know, and they're not redoing Scream, they're just making a new one, which is great. 
and that's what uh, hopefully they will be able to make more movies out of this but if they can't make it on par with this one at least if they just go down scale down 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 then they need to end it well like part three the only good thing part three had going for it was the great ending where Sydney felt free and Dewey and Gail were getting married and everything was wrapped up nicely there. So, unless they plan to kill those three off in the next two movies, which a lot of people would be upset about, some people would like, there are people who would like that because they want a new fresh thing to happen, but dedicated diehard fans like myself would not like seeing these three characters die after all they've been through and all they've lost in the past uh, movies. So I don't know what they're going to do with it unless they make one of them a killer or something and that would be weird too. So it's kind of a weird situation there. But um, I definitely recommend the movie. So go see Scream 4 and uh, that's my review, and if I like what I've done here, or if anyone else likes what I've done here, I will be creating more reviews for you. Bye-bye for now.